What's up guys, Matt and Blake from the Football Boots team and what we have for you guys today is another boot history, this time one of the biggest players in world football, Antoine Griezmann, what a career he's had, but his boot choices haven't been as simple as just Puma, so what we'll be looking at today is every single pair of boots he's worn since being an under 19 player for France, all the way to today, where's he going to be playing next season? We don't know, but we do know exactly what pair of boots he's been wearing along the way. So let's get right into it. So the Antoine Griezmann we all know and love of today wears Puma football boots and he's just been announced as a headline player of a brand new silo. We'll get into it a little bit later. But starting very early on, Real Sociedad when he was 18, 19 years old for the first team, wore a pair of football boots which I remember picking up off the shelf and they felt like a bag of crisps. They were so, so lightweight. Blake, what are we talking about? So Griezmann's first boots in his professional career were the F50 Eta Zero boots. So very, very lightweight boots in 2009. Getting into 2010 now, we're looking at Griezmann playing for France under 19's team. Now they actually won the European Championships of this year, so he was in the winning team, had a massive impact now although he's wearing the same generation of those f50s there was a big difference with this model and colorway what was it so his first appearance for france he was wearing leather f50 at a zero so not the standard synthetic version he is wearing the leather edition which in hand is very very comfortable and high quality this is a later generation. It had a very comfortable leather upper on that four foot there. Standard synthetic on the back of the boot. And again, you'll see that same sole plate, speed traction, stud configuration. A very popular sole plate from Adidas Football. Staying in 2010, but progressing into the France under 20s team, Griezmann made his massive brand switch to who and to which boot? So he switched from Puma from Adidas. So he's chucking away those Adidas football boots. He switched to Puma football boots, and this was the V1.10 SL boots. And these were super lightweight, less than 150 grams, and they had that Velcro tongue, similar to what you see on a Vapor 4. Remember the Vapor 4 tongue? Mm -hmm. Very, very lightweight football boots, and they had carbon fiber on the sole plate. 2012, what are we looking at now? So a much bigger upgrade from the V1 series. He was in the Evo Speed 1. So this was the original generation of the Evo Speed. So improving on the V1 series, Puma made their Evo Speed collection and this is what Griezmann wore at Real Sociedad. So this was the Evo Speed 1. So a much softer upper, a much different sole plate than the carbon fiber we saw on the V1 series. Overall, again, a very lightweight football boot, a very good speed boot. Into 2013 and Griezmann is now a superstar at Real Sociedad. Man United have come knocking other big European clubs all want Griezmann to play for them and also he's in a brand new pair of Puma Speed Boots. I love these when they came out. So Blake, I know you liked them. What are they? So from the Evo Speed 1, this is the Evo Speed 1.2 and this colorway is very, very nice. It's black and yellow. So it's such a perfect colorway for the launch generation of the 1.2. And from the Evo Speed 1, this had the Speed Track sole plate. So it's a very popular sole plate. Puma used it on a lot of Evo Speed generations. On the upper, again, it was very soft and lightweight. We had grip ticks on this generation over the Evo Speed 1. So grip ticks, like NSG and ACC, provides a bit of touch and control in wet and dry conditions. Traditional low cut design, overall very lightweight football boot for Griezmann. Playing so well for Real Sociedad in 2014 during the summer, we had the World Cup. He was picked by France, seriously good option for them, but he also wore something really, really interesting and definitely lit up that World Cup pitch. Blake, what were those boots? So again, this was the Evo Speed 1.2, but this was the special limited edition Trix boots. One was pink and one was blue. A very, very unique color combination. Whether it was good looking, I probably wouldn't wear these boots and Matt probably wouldn't either, but this was inspired by Rigobit's song, I don't know, I think it was in 1998, the World Cup. He wore a yellow pair on one foot and a red pair on the other foot. They were Puma boots and that was the inspiration for the Trix collection at the 2014 World Cup. Showing his world-class ability for Real Sociedad and also France in the World Cup. Following that, Atletico Madrid were the club to sign him for £24 million. Pounds, so a massive transfer for a massive player. Very worthwhile, especially what he's done for Atletico since. But what was he wearing on his feet in his debut and who was it against? So again, we saw the Evo Speed 1.2 headline by Griezmann for his Atletico Madrid debut. Went on for Sal Niguez. I don't know how old Sal Niguez was but very, very big debut for him. These boots were pretty much all black or dark gray with a bit of white and sky blue trim. Very nice colorway for this generation. Making his debut against Real Madrid, that was in the Super Copa, which Atletico actually managed to win. So in his first two games, he helped them actually lift the trophy, which you can see on screen now. But then he scored his first debut goal in the Champions League against Olympiacos. Now, what was he wearing on his feet then? 
So Griezmann went from the Everspeed 1.2, he wore them for a long time, but now he was on to Puma's third generation of Everspeed, the Everspeed 1.3. Pretty much the same boot. So you had that Speed Track sole plate, same upper pretty much. But the new feature to the Everspeed 1.3 was the speed frame. So it's pretty much an agility cage. We see it on Flywire for Nike's boots and on Adidas's boots, we see it with the Pure Cut Lace cover. But this one had the speed frame, pretty much a cage on both sides of the boot just to lock down your foot into the shoe. A slight upgrade from the Evo Speed 1.2. So the next boot is Griezmann's last boot of the 2014-15 season. He was named in the La Liga team of the season. He was wearing these Dragon Limited Edition Evo Speed 1.2s. Now the upper was completely different from the standard edition. As you can see, the Japan inspired Dragon boots. Not my cup of tea. You've got teal, you've got a bit of white and a bit of red. Overall, a very unique pair of Evo Speed 1.3 boots. We now get into the 2015-16 season and Griezmann is a headline player for Puma, very well deserved. We can see that in all the advert pictures he's next to Falcao, Sergio Aguero and also Marco Royce. But what is the massive stand-up pair of boots that actually changed the game? So this is the Everspeed SL. Originally it was the Everspeed 1.4 SL, but overall it's just called the Everspeed SL and it's 103 grams. So very lightweight in terms of football boots. It was the most lightweight boot for a retail standard version. So you got the speed frame on the agility cage here, very, very thin and soft upper. Sole plate is very, very flexible with that three heel stud system. The lightest ever boot by Puma. Named as the best player in La Liga of 2016, picking up four player of the month awards on the way in that season. We now get into May 2016. He's playing in the semi-final of the Champions League against Bayern Munich, but what is he wearing on his feet? Because they are a slight upgrade. So like for the 2014 World Cup with the blue and the pink, we saw pink again, but this time with yellow. So not the greatest color combination we've seen on a pair of football boots, but the right boot was yellow and the left boot was pink. Overall, stunning and very unique colorways for the Euros and for Griezmann. Although losing to Real Madrid in the final of the Champions League, Griezmann had a great season in the European competition and was named in the team of the season for the Champions League that year. Definitely deserved. And also after that tournament, Atletico Madrid signed him on a new contract until 2021. So they knew some massive clubs were going to try and steal him away from them. But what was his next piece of football? So he continued that prolific form in that season into the Euros. So again, like I mentioned before, he's wearing the Trix one. So one was pink and one was yellow and black at the back. Overall, such a stunning colorway for the Everspeed 1.5 SL launch. Into Euro 2016 itself and Griezmann showed the entire world just how good a footballer he was. He scored against Albania to put them through into the knockout stages, scored a brace against the Republic of Ireland, then scored against Iceland, scored another brace against Germany to put them through into the final. But what happened in that final game? So it's such a disappointing final for pretty much everyone watching bar Portugal fans because Portugal won 1-0 after extra time from Eda's long range goal. I think everyone just saw how good Griezmann was on a football pitch. He will sign for Manchester United for the 2017-18 season. Starting the 2016-17 season, of course, with Atletico Madrid, they did manage to keep him. He was wearing the Puma Evo Speed, but there was a slight difference with this model. So in this model, they launched the Evo Speed SLS. So again, the SL would only last 10 matches. So that was a massive problem, not so much for professionals, but for amateurs alike. They wouldn't buy a boot just because it's going to last you 10 games. But they made the SLS just to be a bit more durable. So again, you're adding about 30 grams in weight, but overall you're getting a much more durable product. Getting into a bit more of a graphic colorway, we've actually got the Graphic Evo Speed 17s. But what was the actual design? So the design was pretty much all black, but we sort of had a sun yellow color scheme. On the side of the boot, on the medial side, there was a skull. So pretty much the same colorway on the Everpal 1.3. Overall, a very unique graphics colorway from Puma. So in November 2016, Puma launched their Derby Fever Evo Speed for Griezmann. Now these were pretty much white and red. So we saw a lot of Derby Fever boots for Puma players. For Oliver Giroud, we saw a Derby Fever Evo Speed 1.3. I even think Hector Bellerin had his own Evo Speed for Derby Fever. Lots of other players at like Cesc Fabregas and other Puma players had Derby Fever boots, but these boots were stunning. Pretty much white, red, and a bit of black on the form strike. Very nice football boots. 
Wrapping up the year for Griezmann, 2016 was a seriously high quality one for him. He was shortlisted in the Ballon d'Or nominees list. He didn't win it, Ronaldo came first, Messi came second, but Griezmann did actually wrap up things in third place. Definitely could have been up there maybe a little bit more, but Messi and Ronaldo smash it every single year. Maybe Griezmann could win it in the upcoming seasons with Atletico or Man United, you never know. So starting in 2017 in January, Griezmann is still with the Evo Speeds. I don't like this colorway personally, but Blake does. What are they? So this is the launch Evo Speed 17 colorway. Again, we see yellow and we see green with a bit of black on the form stroke. Overall, a very bold colorway. And Griezmann actually, again, wore the SLS edition. There was an SL edition which had a durability panel added to the forefoot to help with durability, but I don't think it will help much. Again, so Griezmann was wearing the SLS edition. So April 2017, Griezmann was seen in train wearing a blackout football boot. Was he switching to Nike? Was he switching to Adidas? Was he wearing a blackout Evo Speed or even a blackout Evo Touch? No, he was not. He was wearing the blackout version of the Puma 1. So this is the Puma 1 17. So what is the Puma one all about? Is it a top level boot by Puma? Well, in my opinion, I think it's a slightly alternative Evo touch. We didn't actually do the best on the boot market. It's got a K leather upper. What are your favorite things about the boot? So it's very similar to Evo touch like Matt said. So pretty much a K leather four foot vamp is very, very high quality. That is the best thing about this boot. As well as that, the collar is also very nice. It's very similar to the Evo that we saw on the Evo touch pro. Sole plate is probably the biggest letdown. It's quite cheap. It's got that bladed system not the greatest sole plate on this boot but overall a decent upgrade from the Eva Dutch Pro so guys that is today's video all wrapped up you now know Griezmann's entire boot history all the way from Real Sociedad to what he's wearing today with the Puma 1 but the poll card question today is where do you think Griezmann will be playing his football next season will it be Man United Real Madrid Barcelona Juventus or will he be sticking with Atleti vote in a poll card now and also in the comment section below do you think Griezmann should be wearing the Puma 1 or a different route maybe from Nike or Adidas? Please let us know. But as I said, guys, that is today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please click on the subscribe button somewhere around here or watch one of our latest videos.